The Sig Sauer P230 is a small, semi-automatic handgun chambered in. 32 ACP or 380 auto. It was designed by Sig Sauer of Eckenforda, Germany. It was imported into the United States by Sieg Arms in 1985. In 1996 it was replaced by the model P232. Sig P230 was designed in 1977 as a concealable law enforcement sidearm. After World War II, the West German State Police mainly carried Walter PP and Walter PPK models chambered in. 32 ACP, as at the time, no 9x19mm pistol was compact nor portable enough for concealed carry. However, various terrorist incidents in West Germany circa early 1970s, such as 1972 Munich massacre and Red Army Faction's activities, pushed the West German law enforcement outfits to seek new, more powerful handguns to counter to these new threats. P-230 was submitted for the search, but was not selected. The West German police decided to use 9mm Parabellum ammunition, with Sig Sauer P-225, Walter P-5, and H&K P-7 being selected, and would be issued at the discretion of each state. Sig P-230 in hands of a member of NARA Prefectural Police The design and function of the P-230 is of the simple fixed barrel, straight blowback configuration. It has a reputation as a well-built firearm, and competes with the smaller Walter PPK. With its relatively narrow slide and frame it can be carried in an ankle holster or beneath body armor. The P-230 was available in both blued and all stainless finishes. The blued version features a blued steel slide in a matching, anodized aluminum frame, whereas the stainless version was completely made from stainless steel. Both versions came with a molded polymer, wraparound grip that is contoured to give the shooter a comfortable and secure hold on the pistol. The trigger comes from the factory with a 24 newton single action pull, and is capable of both single action and double action. Pulling back the slide sets the hammer backwards and downwards to its single action position, making for a very short trigger pull, with minimal take-up. The double action pull is longer and more stiff. It has no external safeties, though it does have a decocking lever position just above the right-handed shooter's thumb, on the left side of the grip. The lever provides for a safe method of lowering the hammer from its full cocked, single action position, to a half cock, double action. Safe position where the hammer itself falls forward to a locking point about an eighth of an inch from the rear of the firing pin. Once decocked, it is physically impossible for the hammer to drop completely and contact the firing pin, which would otherwise greatly increase the risk of the unintentional discharge of a chambered round. In order for the round to discharge, the full double action pull would have to be completed, which allows for the pistol to be carried reasonably safely with a round chambered. In addition, the SIG P232 has an automatic firing pin safety. The sights are of the traditional SIG design and configuration, with a dot on the front sight and a rectangle on the rear sight. To aim using the sights, the shooter simply aligns the dot over the rectangle. The magazine release is located behind and below the magazine floor plate. The magazine is released by pushing the lever towards the rear of the grip, at which point the magazine can be removed from the pistol. The earlier models of SIG P230 can be identified with Made in W Germany imprint on the slide. The P232 incorporates more than 60 changes to the design of the P230. Most of the changes are internal. Some of the changes are, due to its small dimensions, it is easily carried as a backup weapon or as a concealed carry handgun, holding 8 plus 1 rounds of 32 ACP or 7 plus 1 rounds of 380 ACP, respectively. Imports of the Sig Sauer P-232 to the United States, and of spare parts and magazines, were discontinued in July 2014. Although the P-230 and P-232 are known for reliability and accuracy, market competition had increased with the proliferation of smaller, lighter and less expensive pistols chambered for the 380 ACP cartridge. The P-232 and other Sig Sauer products manufactured in Germany were banned for export by the German government, due to unlawful foreign arms sales by the US State Department to the Colombian Defense Ministry. Thanks for watching.